Jordan Dempsey wearing six next to Tampa Bay Rowdies with the added clearance. Derby's corner, good one. Just the edge of the six-yard box. Still in play, Shane McElhenney across the area. Wasn't the best. Duffy! Oh, what a goal! Absolutely fantastic! It was a terrible ball from Shane McElhenney, but the man who had taken the corner had come to the edge of the penalty area, and he fairly whipped it in, right-footed, and crashed to the back of the net, V in the post, and Jerry take the lead. Yeah, but watch, watch his technique for this one, because the ball is coming to him, and he actually takes a few steps back, rather than going on to the ball, to let it come to him, and get in a position that he can't strike it. The Dawkins, incidentally, have taken the lead against UCD as well. They're very much in the mix now, too. Ronan Boyce. Now he has back heel. We just had to be careful that it didn't just dip over his uh, crossbar, under his crossbar, really, yeah, from uh, the shot from Graydon. Good play from Diallo, just back heel. I'm not sure whether he's trying to think that into the far corner. He's trying to whip around the back of Prost. Scored a great goal against Shamrock Rovers last week. Certainly able to wrap his foot around that, but good defending as well. Ball's gone short. Back post. Free header again missed. Oh, that is just so annoying from Bohemian's point of view. There's a couple of times we've seen in this game with free headers at the back post for Rory Feely, and he's missed it. But again, it's a switch off from Derry on the set piece. Not going and crossing the ball. There's no point being out there as a two if you're not going to press the ball. McElhenney. Patrick McElhenney. Duffy screaming for it outside of him. He's going a long way himself. McElhenney! That's a good stop from the goalkeeper, but it was pretty central. A good run from McElhenney, but either side of the keeper would have had him in trouble. Yeah, it was great for him, McElhenney. He just used Duffy as a little bit of a decoy. You see him outside him there, and he just steps inside. And like you say, it's fairly straight. He's trying to open his right foot out and bend into the far corner. And we've seen him do that many times as well, but this time he hits it too straight. All lined up on the edge of the area, pretty much. Probably McDade to swing this in. Poor ball. Easily dealt with. At least he can try again. Oh, Bert. Bert fancies this. Oh, it's a variant. Scoped up for him. Oh, what a save by Marr. But it's stuck. He was going to his right hand side. Good stuff. Stuck out his left foot. Pawed it away. Variant perhaps should have scored. Yeah, they've had two great chances in this second half already. The Feely header. And this time forward, great little board for Verdian. Gets away, gets a strike and goal. Goalkeeper does really well, nice and strong, but he should really score from there. He's in the middle of the goal, go to either side. Verdian drops it down. McDade. McDade. He shows some fancy footwork in this second half. Good strong challenge from McElhenney, just nudges him off the ball. And then tries to set McGonigal free at the other end. Bows are stretched here. McGonigal! And he's got a corner. He yeah, nicked away of uh, Kieran Kelly. If he wasn't scoring, and the corner was the best one we've seen. The other end, Bowes looking for the penalty. No, not nothing in it for me. Nice and strong challenge. And McGonagall breaks away. And the one thing you're saying is hit the target, make it keep or work. Don't put it back into his hands, and he doesn't. And still we go on. Referee Doyle looks at his watch. Blows the final whistle. Derby City move on to 55 points. One point behind Shamrock Rovers, all play, be it played two games more. Bohemians stay in sixth place, 36 points from 29 games played.